coming up are some great money-saving tips for planting new flowers in containers on your patio or your porch. You won't want to miss these because they will save you money. All right, everybody, I want to give you this quick tip if you are filling flowering containers on your patio or anywhere in your garden. And I am adding these brand new big blue containers to our front porch. You can see that they are really deep and I'm just planting pansies in them. They don't have a root structure that big. So a good tip to save money is to simply put really big plastic containers inside each pot. So I have a vinegar one there, um, I have a detergent one, and just kind of like, they don't have to even fit completely, just put them in there. Over here, I've got some more detergent ones. I've even got some tiny water bottles to kind of fill up that space in there. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna replace the amount of soil that you need in there. And as you can see, I still got tons of room for the roots to grow. If you are planting just annuals or something that is like a flowering plant that doesn't have a huge root system, this is plenty soil for it to grow in. And you don't have to completely cover the entire thing. As you can see, there's still soil that the roots can find its way down in there. Um, so this just saves you a lot of money like a lot of money. And then just an FYI, if you are doing these pots, you do wanna drill um, some drainage holes in there if they don't have drainage holes. Otherwise, you're gonna have way too much standing water and it's never gonna disappear and that is not good for your plants either. So if you don't already have holes in the containers that you buy, use your cordless drill and put some holes in there for drainage. You can also, um, technically use like a hammer and nail or something to punch some holes in there if you needed to. If you'd like, you can put some um, gravel on there for extra drainage um, helping out. So yeah, that's just a way to save money on potting soil because this was like eight bucks a bag, I think. If you can save that much over the course of two planters, you can buy more plants. <laughs> Now, another money saving tip is to reuse your old potting soil and put it at the base of the planters if you know the root system is not gonna get down there. We have this pot that we are not gonna be using since we got these two matching ones. This has been full, completely full of potting soil. So I'm gonna put that potting soil towards the bottom. That way it still has soil in it. It's going to weight it down because there does need to be some weight down there, you don't want this to be top heavy. But since the plants aren't gonna likely be having the roots go all the way down there, it doesn't matter that it's old soil. And in that way, I'm gonna be using the new soil and putting all of these beautiful uh, pansies and snapdragons in there, and they will love the fresh stuff on top. Actually realizing now that I've taken out the um, potting soil that the people before me <laughs> did the same thing they have just like fill dirt down here and filled it about halfway and then put potting soil on the top half another money saving tip is to look for these multi packs especially if the flowers grow pretty quickly or if you don't need huge flowers I got this multi pack was it four dollars I got eight plants and they do have like this little look to them. You can see they're really root bound, but that probably also means they're gonna grow pretty fast. Um, again, I've got this one. This one is another eight pack and that was for 10.98. Oops, this wasn't an eight pack. This is actually a 12 pack. So that $11 cost for this 12 pack means that it is less than a dollar per plant. And if you're wondering the ones that are shriveled up, this is because I've had this, um, uh, variety pack for over a week and I keep forgetting to water it and it's been quite cold. So don't think that just because you're getting a variety pack that the plants are going to be any less uh, vigorous and healthy. And so I can just fill those in and let, um, you know, however I want in the pot and really make it to where they can fill out on their own. Bigger pots that were already full of over, um, not overgrown, but pretty big flowers, 
were about 20 bucks. And you probably got about the same amount, but it was one big pot rather than these individual little ones. So if you are um, willing and able to just take the smaller plants and place them throughout the pot individually just to make them look bigger or to wait a little bit and let them fill out on their own, it's a much better value. You're going to get a lot more for your money. As it turns out, I had more than enough flowers for these two planters. I also filled another really big one in my garden in a separate smaller container. So the moral is you don't need to buy a lot of the little plants in order to make a big impact in a container. And this is how my flower pot looks afterwards. Now this is just two days of it being in there. So obviously the flowers haven't grown and filled out but I am hopeful that they will. And even if they don't, it's still very pretty, I think, and a lot of color. And um, yeah, we can change it out easily for every season. Once the pansies are not doing so great in warmer weather, then we'll be putting in some petunias or something like that. So I hope this helped. Let me know if you are making any flower containers for your patio or garden this year too.